Hey friends, please like and subscribe for more amazing stories. My name is Zoe, and I dated a Russian oligarch after meeting him and his wife on their yacht. I've been a famous model for the last few years. I was a runway model and then became an online model and blogger with many followers. My status allowed me to get invited to fancy parties and vacations. I was ecstatic when I got the invitation to a yacht party. I immediately went on a shopping spree to find new clothes so I could look my best. I secretly was hoping to meet a successful man. When I arrived on the yacht for the party, I couldn't believe how fancy it was. I had a glass of wine before I went to speak with any of the other guests. My invitation stated many other influencers would be there, and I recognized a lot of them. Suddenly, I spotted the oligarch, Simon, making a speech to the crowd. Yeah, I would like to thank everyone who is here tonight. Please, come talk to me if you see me around. I would like to meet everyone. Simon was much more attractive than I thought he would be. It became my mission to find him and spend as much time talking with him as possible. When I finished my wine, I searched around the party. Many people attempted to talk to me, but the only person I wanted to speak to was Simon. Finally, my eyes settled on him. He was dressed in a dark suit, and his hair was slicked back neatly. I quickly checked my makeup in my hand mirror and was happy with my appearance. I didn't think he would be able to resist me, so I approached him. Hello, Simon. My name is Zoe. Well, hello, Zoe. It's nice to meet you. Your yacht is amazing! Thank you for inviting me to the party! Of course! I'm happy to see you here. When Simon spoke, he used his hands, and I noticed he had a wedding ring on. I was initially very disappointed. Where is your wife? I'm not sure. She didn't want to be here tonight, and is upset I made her attend. She doesn't like dinner parties. His complaining about his wife was the perfect opportunity to flirt with Simon. Aw, who wouldn't want to be here? This is such a nice gathering. I'm glad you think so. You're very beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you, Simon. That is quite the compliment coming from someone like you. Simon looked happy when he wasn't speaking about his wife. He also liked that I acknowledged his status after he complimented me. I walked away to get another glass of wine, but could feel his eyes on me. About an hour later, Simon found me again at the party. Zoe, I'd like to take you on a date. Really? But you are... We don't need to talk about her. I like your company and your beauty. I would be honored if you'd go on a date with me. Yes, I would love to. Can it just be you and I on your yacht next time? Whatever you want, Zoe. I will make it happen. I was shocked Simon asked me on a date behind his wife's back, but I agreed and we went on our first date a few weeks later. After that, we continued dating secretly. I felt terrible at first, but he confided to me about how unhappy his wife was and how they didn't have much of a relationship anymore. He explained that they barely talked to each other and only acted like they were in love in front of important people and for pictures. I felt bad for Simon because he was such a nice guy who had a lot of power and status. I enjoyed going on expensive dates and shopping sprees with him. Our relationship lasted for a year before his wife found out and she called me to yell at me. This is Simon's wife. I know what has been going on and you need to stay away from my husband. <laughs> well, you two are happy together, so good luck! I saw Simon one last time, which was when he broke up with me. But I was prepared for it, considering his wife called me. I kept all the expensive gifts he gave me, and I told him we could get back together if he ever got a divorce. But I never heard from Simon again.